Hey. Okay. So yeah, it's been a while. Thought I'd keep this up for maybe to the end of the month. <laughs> Who knows? I may keep it up longer, but um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been slacking on the channel. And um, now, first of all, um, I didn't do a film critique mainly because I lost track of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working so hard that it was like, I thought it was Thursday. <laughs> so, so that's my fault. And um, I'll have two critiques um, this next Saturday. So <laughs> suddenly my family was talking about how it was Sunday. I'm like, isn't it Friday? <laughs> no, you did it again. <laughs> no, but we're going to look at... Um, we're going to react to stone protectors. I looked at the react list and we did uh, the last one that we reacted to was um, Marina. So, I, and then before that was Jace. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep the list going with Jace and then Marina and then the stone protectors and, and just keep going like that. And so um, now I haven't been able to find the unaired if you remember um there are three episodes that were unaired so there were only 10 episodes that aired and then there were three that didn't um that didn't show i will continue looking for those if i can't find them then we're just going to see 10 episodes so but i will do my best and if it turns out that Get, like maybe next year or so if i if i ever find them we will react to them <laughs> i will hunt them down i promise so anyway um since it's been so long <laughs> if you remember they went to like that uh spa and uh they there was like the uh the the doctor that switched sides and everything because he wanted like that special plan or whatever and um, so that's what happened in the last episode with the stone protectors. They had gone to the special spa. They were going to play there and they were going to get like a, um, and Opal was going to talk to somebody about the stone protectors. And then of course there was a ruckus <laughs> and everything. <laughs> yeah. With that doctor and all of that. So, looks like they're still at the spa in this episode, from the look of it. So anyway, let's just get into it, shall we? Crystals. We are simply collecting a head tax. Either surrender all your household crystals to the mighty Zark, or lose your head. That's not good. <laughs> Don't you know that if you take their crystals, this village will perish? I, I know that you are finished! Seize her! Here they come. Incompetent, inept, inadequate. And they're the best I've got. You're no great shakes yourself. Hey, yo, lizard lips. Your mama's are alligator boots. Oh, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Pull it. Then dust it out, Chess. Yeah, give her a good shake.
Okay, that was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> the bad guys just stood there while they were doing their banter <laughs> adult me it was frustrating again it's you know kids would find it funny I'm sure and <laughs> <laughs> No, the boot comment was pretty funny. I did like that. And, <laughs> but it looks like they've, they've got, uh, cause the one guy came out on a scooter or whatever. I didn't see who it was exactly, but it looks like they have, um, more, uh, you know, more accessories and everything. And uh, and they're using the the actual because in the other episodes we weren't seeing much of the uh, medallions, you know, the crystals and everything. And um, and again, just a refresher uh, because this was supposed to promote uh, a, a toy, uh, the stone protectors when I was doing research on it was like a, uh, a boy version of the trolls. Now, of course, trolls have the, the movies now and, uh, trolls were around, you know, they were those ugly dolls with the hair. I had my mom's. <laughs> yeah. And in the eighties, they would put like gems in the, in the belly button and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made a comeback in the 80s, those those troll dolls. And and uh, and in the early 90s. And but by by the time this came, they were kind of dying out. But this was for boys cuz the troll dolls were more for girls. I don't know very many boys that had them. And um I'm not saying that there were boy there weren't boys that had them, but they were marketed more for girls. But yeah, this was uh, an attempt at uh like a troll doll for boys. And uh they made a video game for it. I don't know if the video game came first and then the action figures and everything, but Unfortunately, Stretch Armstrong was more, I mean, they do, like, a couple of the guys look a lot like Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> My brother had Stretch Armstrong and his dog. I don't remember the dog's name. But, um, so I can see where it's overlooked. This happens all the time. You know, they have, you know, how Roach had our gang you know which turned into little rascals when the uh, when it was sold to um uh mgm and uh well the thing is is that mickey rooney was in what was called uh, mickey mcguire the mickey mcguire series and that was overlooked because of our gang our gang was more popular so yeah it happens all the time <laughs> <laughs> so but <laughs> but yeah so just a bit of a refresher there um that this was like a um an attempt yeah those troll dolls i i remember i have i wonder if we still have that troll doll it's probably in the attic somewhere <laughs> i would not be surprised they probably have, because, you know, they have at uh, Target and Walmart, a lot of those uh, retro toys and everything. They probably have um, troll dolls. Well, especially with the the movies out. Um, I've, I haven't seen the movies, but I, a lot of my friends and classmates with kids, they go and see those movies. So um, I wouldn't be surprised. So, but anyway, let's continue.
Echoes, I'd say. I was about to say. <laughs> that was too good. <laughs> Oh, they were pulling them behind. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Didn't he do that? With the most feared warrior in the history With the scientist? Blackheart the Terrible. <laughs> dun dun dun! My <laughs> told me stories about him. Oh, it gave me nightmares for 30 years. You can't replace me with Blackheart? He lived centuries ago. It's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Volcanology, man. Volcanology. By the power of the obsidian shard. By the power of grace. All the references. Oh man, and the organ music. That's a nice touch. He's scary. The only important thing is that if you stay here in the present too long, you will fade into nothingness. You will cease to exist. Mm. Only I, Zok, have the power to send you back home to guarantee your continued existence. Then send me home while you can. <laughs> First, you will perform a service for me. Let me introduce the band. On lead guitar, Maximum Max. On keyboards, Too Cool Angus. Where are the ones called Stone Protectors? Oh, maybe they're not at the spa. I thought they were. Surrender to Zok. Uh, can we vote on that? No! 
Yeah, whoa, indeed. What just happened? <laughs> okay, a couple of things. <laughs> Zoc, there was a moment there where he uh, uh, moved and like flipped his cape at uh, at this guy at Blackheart, it just I don't know, it, it made me laugh. <laughs> That's such a bad guy thing, isn't it? <laughs> and then, um, as I was saying, I, I was sure that they were on, um, at that spa, so apparently they're not anymore, they're, I guess, on tour. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. Um, this is obviously not that spa area anymore. And uh, <laughs> the safe space. <laughs> or when I was a kid, you know, you would play tag and there was that safe base. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's not where they are anymore. Um, now... When he came in, I don't remember him mentioning that he was Blackheart. Did he announce himself? He just asked where the stone protectors were. I, I, I could go back. But <laughs> this is a twist. <laughs> I mean, like, not so much that that he was picked up by one of the stone protectors. I mean, that doesn't, that's not surprising to me in the least, considering who they are and everything. And their, their powers and all of that. I mean, one of them, their voice can <laughs> send people flying to the other side of the room. Probably can make this guy fly across the room before this reveal happened. But <laughs> and it's it's just what <laughs> also the the one guy that's being replaced i I can't remember what his name is off the top of my head, but he was replaced by the the scientist, remember and Or maybe, isn't he Zoc and, and the green guy is Zinc? Yeah, I, I think I got him mixed up. So this must be Zoc. Uh, the yellow guy is Zoc. Uh, you can correct me, of course, or I will correct myself in the description box. But um, this guy, he was replaced in the last one with the scientist. And now he's being replaced again. <laughs> I love it. And and I say it a lot it, when I watch these cartoons is that because of the fact that it was a weekly thing, we didn't have them on VHS. They weren't put on VHS very often. So we didn't see them. You know, we didn't binge on them. So it was, you know, <laughs> here's another example. And, um, but it looks like... <laughs> He's trying to, re I don't know, he's, he's got something up his sleeve, the yellow guy. Um, well, I wouldn't be happy if I were being replaced, that's for sure, especially with someone like this. But um, let, let's see what he's got going. What is wrong with this? Exactly! <laughs> Blackheart? <laughs> Blubberheart is more like it. <laughs> this is the weirdest reveal ever. about well uh, the truth is i'm just a big sissy 
could say that again. is a great warrior you're a legend huh. my legendary reputation is just that legendary i never fought anybody i just wave my club and yell a lot and <laughs> they always ran away so oh, i had it made until now are oh, you guys gonna help me if i don't go back to my own time i'm gonna vanish into this is such a back to the future thing. We can't wait to like tiptoe in the Zark's lair and throw the switch to send you back home. Well, unfortunately, Max, that's exactly what we have to do. What? If Blackheart doesn't return to his own time, the history of our world could be drastically maybe It is back to the future. <laughs> McFly has to return. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Great hero. <laughs> and get my job back. <laughs> well, all we have to do is dive in, and the subterranean river will carry us straight to Zox Lair. <clears throat> uh, excellent plan. Really, really wonderful. Uh, except <clears throat> I'm allergic to water. Sorry. Audacious, man. Think audacious. You know, I would rather think about running. <laughs> we better tell Zuck that his guests have arrived. Oh, so the green guy is Zuck, and the r yellow guy is Zinc. Okay, we got it. Exactly. Something is wrong. I wouldn't say so. <laughs> I'm not crazy about these odds, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give fifty to one on the scaly guys. Let's shift. Very soon now, you will all be in my dungeon, simmering in a vat of boiling oil. Oh, none for me, thanks. No, y'all know how oil and vats are bad for the complexion. <laughs> Enough nonsense. Seize them. This calls for a high note. <laughs> Did he have that the whole time? Well, don't just stand there. Blast him. Stormtrooper aim. Yo, lizard dudes. Yeah, see he's I was talking about that earlier. Speaking of, <laughs> like, especially in the first episode, I, I mean, they really tore up that place. And because uh, this is pretty much her palace, and, and Zok took it over. Um, it's it's all better now. I mean, basically, they just put in the the lava pit and and his uh, Zox's uh, throne um, that is sitting over it. <laughs> Where are all the holes in the walls? Because <laughs> you remember in that first episode, I mean, it was... <laughs> I mean, they just tore it to bits 
with with all the laser fire and and running into walls and all that stuff and now it's like <laughs> it was magic <laughs> magic of cartoons oh my gosh yeah i just thought of that <laughs> he was meant all right let's keep going They just stood there. Again. <laughs> Come on, you guys, let's go. Next stop, Zox Workshop. Mm. Got it. And I got this. Again, too easy. Yeah, great. Hey, except we still gotta get out. Of you know, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Man, I hate it when this happens. They just stood there. They could have. Well, well, well. Uh, it seems Blackheart is not only the most cowardly Mr. Randerian who ever lived, he is also the clumsiest. Well, uh, oh man, now you tell us. <laughs> they didn't. Okay. Hmm, big enough, but uh, not sharp enough. Sharp enough, but uh, not big enough. Aha! Uh -huh. Just right. Patient Zink. The stone protectors aren't going anywhere. Ever. And we had a three village tour planned for the end of March. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm starting to vanish. <laughs> See what what they said earlier, you know about the now you tell us that he's also clumsy and all this. What about when they were at the river <laughs> and he tried to leave? That didn't say okay. <laughs> Again, it's so funny to watch these because there's often times where the writing contradicts itself such as here i mean when we were watching legends of zelda there were often times where the right <laughs> i suppose the legend of zelda works i mean <laughs> and uh yeah there was another one of the other ones um it seems like in a couple episodes of um of Jace and then there was a an episode of of uh Marina <laughs> I mean <laughs> you would think that they would go back and actually read the the episode and be like wait a minute this contradicts it we got to fix that <laughs> Though I guess when you have a deadline, it's like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, good heavens. But yeah, this is so much. This is Back to the Future. <laughs> now, I got to go back. Because, of course, the, the first one came out in 85. Uh, but, gosh, when did the last one come out? Because it. This was in the early 90s. Now, it will say that it came out in 96, like when I was in high school. It originally was released in like uh, 90, 91, 92, somewhere in there. So around the same time that the Little Mermaid, the Disney Little Mermaid, uh, or I guess even the anime Little Mermaid that we're watching. Um, but it was re-released in 96. So, um, but, um, I will look up when, uh, I can't believe I don't remember when the other two, 
Back to the Future were released, uh, the second one and the third one. But um seems like they were all closed up by uh, 94? I'll look it up and, and I'll put in the description box. I'm sure a lot of you are like, how do you not know? <laughs> I got too much information in there. <laughs> it's all jumbled. But for this to be <laughs> the first one where Marty is disappearing, <laughs> you know, <it> <laughs> That is too funny. I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, so given that this was released the same time that the other two movies were going, or at least the last one was uh, happening, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Somebody was a Back to the Future fan. Oh, who wasn't? Who isn't? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Just say you're not. You're lying. <laughs> Blackheart is Marty. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Oh, you've got to help me, Zuck. Don't abandon me in my time of need. Angus, you think you can make yourself scarce? Right, Empress. Please. Oh, what we got going? My own time before I <gasps> disappear. Indeed, I shall gladly say. Straight to my dungeon. You let me well, now you start figuring out the references. Or, or, or you'll regret it. Oh, oh, excuse me. I am so scared. Please, Mr. Blackheart, don't make us die. Laughing. <laughs> I liked it better when everybody was as scared of me. I can imagine. Friends I ever had are doomed. Thanks to me. Oh, I must do something. But what? I'll tell you what you're gonna do, you great lummox. You're gonna help me rescue the stone protectors. What? <laughs> Surely you jest. Even the lightning. <laughs> I have the very best <laughs> Just need Huey Lewis in the news now. <laughs> from their All the references. <laughs> using a bolt of lightning to first give their crystals a massive recharge. Massive recharge? The rap group? And uh, what happens to the stone protectors while this lightning bolt thing is happening? They will be completely Wait, 21 gigawatts. <laughs> No regrets, man. We gotta go in there for Opal and the stone protectors. You go. You go get them. One piece, but I am going in. There's just one thing I want you to do. And what might that be? Talk me out of it. Her hideous, man. Well, what can I say except her hideous are us? <laughs> I'll spring Opal. You distract Zock. Me? Me distract Zock? But Angus? No, but chum. <laughs> You're right. I gotta help him. I, I gotta do it. Yeah. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> what? You haven't vanished yet, Yellow Heart the Chicken? <laughs> Do nothing you would live to He's got a big. 
Oh dear. Well, that can't be good. Now that's what they call a proper distraction. Well done, Blackheart. And well done is exactly what you're all going to be. Huh? Guess who? Oh my. Um, how do you guys usually handle this kind of situation? Oh, simple. We run! I know a shortcut to the river. This way. He had the right idea. It was just too soon. Some kind of shortcut to a short life. Okay. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? <laughs> Is in Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, of course, you have the lava monster. And that's pretty much what you do. To You have to lure the lava monster. You have to open up this whole thing to get the water. Because first you have to get the the piece of the machine and move around, get away from, and then open up and <laughs> oh my gosh, that is too funny. That that is too funny. Oh good heavens! I mean it works, right? Lava doesn't like water. <laughs> In fact, it seems like, because I did a, a silent film critique of a gentleman who did a lot of documentary uh, filming, and he filmed the eruption, or I don't think it erupted, but it was one of the um, volcanoes in Hawaii. And... Um, he was walking, of course, back then, safety and everything, <laughs> out the window. And he and a bunch of people were walking around. The lava was flowing and all of this. Stuff. It hardened. It was fine. And But, uh, and of course, they were near where the water was. And so it, it showed where it was uh, connected. He had filmed where it had connected and everything. So... I remember seeing that. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if he goes back home. Weep not for your failure, friends, for it is a far, far better life I have led today. Oh, very Shakespearean. Than I have ever led before. I mean, I actually did something brave. Well, there you go. Blackie! Listen up, lad. Look, I've got it. I've got the magic shad. Huh? Stone protectors, quickly. There's no time left. Combine your powers. Now! Crank up the volume. Yo, I can play that. Man, Nefluers. Styling. Man, I love it when this happens. This is the first time you've done it. And that's the end. So, yeah. <laughs> Very back to the future. I'll look and see when... I can't believe I forgot when uh, the uh, last Back to the Future, Back to the Future 3 came out. And um, But anyway, 
Um, <laughs> pretty much Blackheart is Marty McFly trying to get back to his own time. And uh, <laughs> why not? I think that's the first time I've ever seen, besides the actual cartoon series, because yes, there is a cartoon series of Back to the Future. There was a period of time. And that's, you know, a little off track before I close up. It surprises me that there wasn't a cartoon series for Indiana Jones, maybe for the best, but I mean, like George Lucas made droid series and Ewok series. So it's surprising that there wasn't Indiana Jones. I mean, in the eighties, there was like the back to the future cartoon series. There was, um, uh, Bill and Ted, and there was Ghostbusters. There was, yeah, there were a whole bunch of these cartoons that were made uh, after the movies came out, you know, after these big time movies. Or they'd make TV series. Like there was a uh, Harry and the Henderson TV series. There was a uh, Dirty Dancing TV series. They never made it. <laughs> no, they never. Yeah, Dirty Dancing and uh, Ferris Bueller TV series. That one was probably the worst. Uh, the movie's great, but the TV series was terrible. But um, so yeah, it's kind of it's surprising that there wasn't a, a um, cartoon series for uh, Indiana Jones. But again, probably for the best. At least we got the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, which is one of my favorites. But but anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't know what episode this was, but there it was. 